This project is a pilot study assessing the feasibility of mapping wetlands using remote sensing in Annadale State Park by Jen Podvin and Francis Horgan, MSEM graduate students at the University of San Francisco. Scientists use remote sensing and ArcGIS to delineate wetlands when working on conservation and restoration projects. Identifying and delineating wetlands using remote sensing can be very useful as a first cut followed up by a verification of wetlands in the field. It is a cost-effective method for getting a rough idea of the location and area of wetlands on a property. Historically, the mapping and delineating of wetlands has been a labor-intensive and costly process. Depending on the intended management and planned land use of an area, new technologies such as remote sensing may serve as a tool for roughly delineating wetlands, saving both time and money. For the purposes of conservation, open space, buffers, or restoration, getting a rough idea of where wetland boundaries are likely to occur can provide a proxy for more efficient land management. As a bonus, using remote technologies allows you to keep a visual record of changes in the landscape over time. For our analysis, we built three models. Model 1 calls out low elevations in our Digital Elevation Model, or DEM, which may signify the presence of wetlands. Our second model combines high-resolution aerial imagery, the DEM output from our first model, and our study area boundary to create a merged raster data set with elevation data. Our third model uses the last DEM output to create a composite raster of ground truth GPS points of wetlands, heads up digitized polygons of known wetland vegetation indicators, which then creates signatures to run a standard image classification analysis known as maximum likelihood classification. Wetland vegetation is only one of three parameters used in wetland determinations according to the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers protocol. Wetland hydrology and hydric soils are the other two. Wetlands qualify as jurisdictional by the state of California if only one of these factors is found. Using only the wetland vegetation parameter and applying the dominance test to delineate wetlands is a conservative approach. Using an aerial image, we were able to get a visual identification of wetlands on Google Earth from Aaron Arthur, a botanist with extensive experience delineating wetlands. Next, we attempted to confirm the areas in Annadale that were suspected of being wetlands by observing them up close and collecting GPS polygons to outline their borders. We used these two datasets to create training sample polygons on the NAEP composite image that corresponded to the types of vegetation or wetland area. Our signature file was then run through image classification analysis to assign each cell in the study area to a known class. The first tool we used was the maximum likelihood classification, which used our signature file with our composite NAEP image to calculate the statistical probability and determine the membership of each pixel in a particular class. A competence raster is also produced alongside the maximum likelihood classification and shows the levels of classification competence. The first level of confidence has a value of 1 and consists of cells which have the highest classification certainty. The lowest level of confidence has a value of 14 on the confidence raster, showing the cells that would most likely be misclassified. Given our time constraints for the project, we were unable to hike all of Annadale and confirm all wetland areas. Also, the time of year for peak wetland vegetation, identification, and delineation is in the spring when the plants are blooming. We were completing this pilot study during the fall, not to mention during a four-year drought, and the vegetation was difficult to distinguish even in the field. Over time, aerial imagery has improved, and with the more recent use of drones to get more frequent and higher resolution images, the ability to utilize this data for land cover analysis will only improve. If we can accumulate enough wetland verification data in the field and incorporate this into our models as confirmed wetland areas, we can continue to improve upon our remote wetland delineation techniques for Annadale and other areas of Sonoma County.